right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the completion of our cheesy little coin toss app. Um, so this is the 12th and final installation of the tutorial for completing this project. And I will include a zip file link to this whole project so that you can have that to work around with should you care to. All right, so let me show you. So the last one I left off, we were... Um, uh, where were we? We were actually uh, creating the scale animation of the image of the coin, the heads image of the coin. Um, so I think it was right this line of code here that we looked at for the scale animation, right? Um, I've added some things to this. Uh, let me show you what the final product looks like, and then I'll describe what I've added. Okay. So we have this here, and you click on the hand. Yeah, I changed the background color to green here. Click on the hand, and I start off with the coin, the head coin there, and we hit toss coin, and the drum roll, and then it shows you the image. So, you, so we click this, we get a drum roll, we see the coin sprite flipping for three seconds, and then it reveals in text, uh, although it got blocked out the last word there. Um, and then the image comes up. So click it. Heads twice in a row. Wow. Let's see if we can get a tail. Tails. Okay. So oh, there you go. Let me show you how we got this done. Then. So let's first take a look. This one of the simplest parts are, is the sound. Um, I had us actually. Um, use this AV audio player uh, variable and to to use this we do need to make sure you have the AV foundations framework if you don't already have that in here right um, so we did add that by just clicking on this plus sign and then adding it there and then I have this little method called play sound and basically what it does is you set a NS URL and make it equal to a sound that you've, I happen to have loaded this into my file here. And so that's there. I just found this online at a free repository. And um, you need to have this NS error just in case anything goes wrong. Um, there's a couple little... Um, objects that you have to associate with your audio player and uh, you can loop it if you want, I chose not to and then when everything's ready you said if it's good to go um, if it's good to go then we play Okay. if there's a problem we print it out to the NS log right? um, so that's that and I just make sure that we call that um, when we click our toss button it activates this IB action and you'll see one of my actions in here is to call the play sound method. So that's where that happens. Uh, so the next thing we do is we go in and we create a um, random number line right here where um, I'm calling this heads or tails method that returns an int and sets that in equal to this num variable. And then based upon whether that um, int is equal to one or two, we show heads image, the tails image, or the heads image. All right, so if it's a one, we show the heads image. If it's two, we show the tails. So let me just show you that heads or tails method, which is right down here. Very small method, easy to use. Um, really, uh, just one line here. This um, random variable, Randy, I call it, is. Uh, set to a random number and when you do that next code there's a couple different ways to do that next code one of the more popular methods is to use what's called the arc for random and this is basically going to produce a number between one and whatever you put in here i could put a hundred in here since it's just heads or tails i put two so it's either going to be one or two and then we return that number so that's it that's the that's the project that's the end of the project um like i said i'll zip this whole file in here and uh, the whole project I will zip and make available to you. Uh, if you have any questions on any of this, please leave them in the comments. 
Please like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe. Thanks. I hope you enjoy this.